Welcome back to TMZ Sports. Mike Babcock here. And UFC 281 is just a few days away. The fans are so psyched for this fight. And so much of it has to do with this man right here. UFC superstar and middleweight champion, the last style bender, Israel Adesanya in the house. My brother, Izzy, how are you? I'm great, baby. What's good? Man, I am so excited for this, Israel. First of all, uh, let's start with being at Madison Square Garden because I know you pay attention to this stuff. You know the history of combat sports. Muhammad Ali, uh, Joe Frazier, so many legends, Israel, have fought in that building. I, I know it's not the first for you, but what, what about going to Madison Square Garden? And does it have any effect? Does it mean anything, Izzy? Um, it doesn't have really any effect on the fight, but leading up to the fight, you feel the energy because MSG is different, man. Like, even when I walk in the grounds of MSG just yeah. to go to a game or something, you feel the energy of the place. It's such a historic grounds for for combat sports and entertainment. Um, so, yeah, for me to headline this time, you know, I know New York got them taxes, but I was just like, nah, I want to take this one off my, off my bucket list because I'm like, I got to headline MSG. And then after that, I'll... You know, money comes and goes. History, that's etched in history forever. Yes. Yeah, a a absolutely. Now, uh, talk to me about the motivation for this fight, Israel. You were, you, you're so darn good. You were just lapping dudes, and you're fighting guys a second time. And, I, I mean, I don't know if it's hard to get up for those fights, but how about this one? Are you more excited, focused, whatever the right word is, but do you have more of that being your, you're not fighting a guy in the UFC for, like, the second time again? Focused. I like that. Focused. Yeah. Um, I was excited about my last fight and then, you know, it just wasn't, he was trying to, he was trying to survive, wasn't trying to win. So I was like, okay, bet. But um, this fight, I'm focused and I'm excited for it because this guy's going to try and win because he's beat me already. Um, so that's the reality of the matter. And the fact that, you know, I already, I already know this has happened in my yeah. reality, but he already knows what I can do to him as well, you know, without a referee to save his ass. So yeah, that's the exciting thing about this fight is we'll find out, am I going to get knocked out or is he going to get knocked out? That's the exciting thing. So people need to tune in. Israel, are people losing focus of the fact that that was in a different sport, though? Like kickboxing and MMA, it's di it's different. You know? 100%. Even the, the way you defend is different. The way you attack is different. It's kind of stupid. Yeah. Uh, sometimes not, uh, no, no disrespect to kickboxing or like sure, some sure. of the styles. But um, I feel like they attack like really... Just sometimes they fight aggression with aggression, and it's not always the best. It's not always the best way to fight. Um, I'm too calculated and smart for that. So I always felt my my style of striking was better suited for MMA, for the glove sizes, but also just the the way I the the freeness of attacking. I can clinch someone and trip him down. I can elbow, right? You know, things like that. And I know he's good at stuff like that as well. But yeah, I've been doing this a lot longer. Have you looked back at those? past fights and if you have have you have you taken anything from it or is it just hey i know what happened and this is a different fight yep i've looked back at them and i i've taken a few things i've taken a few things away from them but it is a different fight i'm not the same guy he's not the same guy either but again i've been doing this a lot longer and people forget it's just this is the era we live in people just you know we're on that tiktok attention span era where it's like they forget and then right. by next week they're on to the next or next day they're on to the next thing you know, um, but yeah, for me, I just, I have to remind them. I always do when it's time. I remind people and I show them how great I am. But this is, this is just another one of those times I have to do it and I have to do it. I don't know if it's the right word. I don't know if it's that people want you to lose Israel, but I feel like for some reason, the last couple of fights, it feels like people are wanting to knock you for some reason. And I don't know why. No, it's it's because you're great. It happened. I've said this. It happened to Anderson Silva. It's happened to GSP. It even happened to Jones at one point. Um yeah. And yeah, people, when you're as great as I am, you know, and you're on top for so long, they want to shake the snow globe a little bit. They want to see what if he loses, what's going to happen, you know? And I did lose him in the Yan fight and I didn't give him the reaction they wanted. I think they expected me to be like, ah, oh, no, I lost. You were like, super gracious. But I was just like, yep, yeah, all right, cool. What's next? Yeah. And I didn't, yeah, you know, that's just me. But um, yeah, people do want you to lose when you're as great as I, as, as I am. And Society does that. They build you up just so they can tear you down, but not today. Do you have anything special planned for that walkout at Madison Square Garden? Nah, not really. Um, this is business. Like, okay. I feel like the way I handle the cost of fight as well, I just walked out there and just did my thing and just, yeah, yeah. I was business as usual. But I'll say, I'm going to make this a horror movie. I'm going to keep that theme. I want to make this a horror movie. When you picture how this turns out, how do you see yourself winning the fight? How does it unfold? 
I want to be the first person he, he sees when he wakes up. I want to make sure I'm right in his line of sight. So when he wakes up, he's looking at me and then looking at the ref. And <laughs> I want to be the first person he sees when he wakes up. That's how I see this fight going. You sound more focused than, I mean, not that you weren't focused in the past, but this seems like a different yeah. Israel Adesanya. Do I read that right? Yes, sir. I mean, I've been focused. Each fight is dangerous. I'm yeah. fighting a guy who's trained to try and kill me, to murder me, to take yeah. everything I've worked for. But this one is different because this guy hasn't done it in the past. So for me, I have to do everything in my power to make sure it doesn't happen again. And I've made sure it's not going to happen again. What do you say to him uh, if he's watching this right now? What What do you say to Alex? He doesn't speak English, so I don't really have anything to say to him. So, yeah, <laughs> I'll, speak, I'll speak his language. He's a violent man, but so am I. And we'll speak violence November 12th. November 12th, it's UFC 281. Uh, Israel, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. And... Uh, Come by, come by and have some in and out after the fight, man. Oh, definitely. You got the truck outside for me. <laughs> we'll bring it back for you. Appreciate it. Thanks for a great interview. You're the man, Thanks. Mike. Thanks, Israel. I appreciate you. I'll talk to you soon. See you guys.